Hi guys, I'm Megan Brightwood and welcome back to my channel. So if you've kind of been hanging around a little bit, you've probably seen a couple of sweaters that I have made up. This one, for instance, is the Augustine Cardigan by Anna Dervo. And then I also have this one that was recently finished. And this is the Dagmar's Dress by Petite Knit. And these are sweaters that I have knit up for my children. I have a daughter that is turning four and then a son that is about a year and a half old. And yes, I've made these for them and they have now been worn a lot. So I'm going to go ahead and wash these, but since there is a little bit of a different process to washing my hand knit items, especially the ones that I've just gotten done doing, uh, sometimes I can get a little lazy if they've been worn a lot, but when they're fresh and new, then I like to be especially careful. So I thought that since I need to wash them anyway, I would show you my process. <laughs> so if you are interested in how I launder my hand knit items, then just keep on watching. So welcome to my kitchen. I uh, am going to be using this stainless steel crock pot. It holds about eight quarts, I believe. And I'm just gonna fill this with water to about here. This is what I use to wash my kids' clothing. If I were to knit, or if I were to be laundering one of my own sweaters, I would probably put water in the sink instead, but this works just as well for doing the kids stuff. So since that's going to be loud, I'm going to go ahead and mute here and come back when it's got enough water in it. So I've filled it up about a quarter of the way so far and I do like to keep the temperature kind of lukewarm to cool and for the last bit I only want to fill it about halfway. I am also going to be running this under the water. This is a wool wash from Tufted Linens which I can link below if you are interested. It's a lemon and eucalyptus scent and this just helps clean the wool. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Now that my water is nice and soapy, I'm just going to put in Charlie's here. This is a nice brown color. It's a lighter tone than Evie's dress, which is, you know, the deep bright red. And I don't want to get any of that red onto his sweater, so I'm going to do them separately but with the same water. So I'm going to just gently push that under the water so that it's nice and wet. And then I'm going to let this sit for about 20 minutes. So it's been 20 minutes now, so I'm going to go ahead and take Charlie's sweater out and wring it out just a little bit, being very, very gentle. I don't want to twist or anything. I'm just kind of gently pressing any water out. And then I'm going to go ahead and put Evie's sweater in instead so I can get that started. With Charlie's sweater, I'm going to go ahead and just rinse off any excess soap so that it's not going to get stiff or anything. And then I'm going to just try to get all of the water out again and set it out. I went ahead and laid Charlie's sweater out the way that I like it on an old towel and hopefully no one will disturb it. I do like to let my hand knits dry flat. They hold their shape so much better and just last a lot longer. So that is it. That is my process of hand washing my hand knits. So that is how I go about laundering my hand knit items. It is a little bit more time consuming than just throwing it in the washer and dryer. And actually don't put your hand knit items in the dryer. Please, please don't do that. Let it dry, let it air dry. Uh, but yeah, so it's a little more time consuming than just throwing it in the washer, but so worth it. It will make your sweaters last so much longer. And if you have purchased a sweater too, this is a good method to use if you're um, trying to launder that as well. So 
Anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and found it helpful, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!